Have you ever had a DSLR camera that you Back didn't have a flip around screen on it? Well, I found a way to make one out of a dollar mirror from the dollar store. Very simple to use, very simple to create. So I got my mirror at about 45 degrees. There, if you can see, I, can, I heat it in the mirror. Bend it, cool it off with water. So I went to the dollar store to get that mirror. And as you can see, my uh, PVC pipe is my stabilizer. Notice I got the stabilizer in the right hand close to where my thing can reach the, where my fingers can reach the uh, buttons, the record buttons or whatever. And I leave that loose so I could uh, turn it either way, whichever way it's more comfortable for me, for whatever kind of shoot I'm doing. In the future, I'm going to put screws in that. See how my hand can reach the uh, switch and turn it on and off. Comes out pretty good by doing that. And as you can see, the mirror. See, I'm seeing the back of the screen. That's the same way I can see. What, that's the vision I see. That's the viewpoint that I see, I should say, when I'm looking down at it. So I'm holding the camera towards the uh, thing so I can see it. And then we're going to see how it's stable. My left hand there kind of holds the weight of the camera and the rig and my right hand stabilizes it just trying to show you there on that particular part but the reason I got it in the uh, Z shape there my right hand holds the weight of it and I mean my left hand holds the weight and my right hand stabilizes it there go what I see. Now you're seeing exactly what I see in that mirror when I want to get low shots. See how it reflect, reflect in it? Very clear that degree that I have there. So y'all won't have to raise the camera up and look at the viewfinder. I think that's about 30 degrees maybe. Whatever it takes for whatever camera you set on yours. And I have a, that mirror comes with a hole already in it. I just put that bolt in there. Right through the uh, T of the PVC pipe. Notice where one side of the left side of my PV is longer than the other. That's because I want it close to the uh, control side. And this is the way I shoot. I put my scrap on my neck that make help me stabilize it. And when I stretch it, one hand down there, other hand up there. I tried lowering it down, and that wasn't as comfortable for me. You may like it the other way, but I like this way with the uh, handlebars turned. Here, I'm trying to get the light right, but it's kept reflecting. So you see where I'm grabbing it there, I got a pad up under there with duct tape taping that up. It's just a prototype. We'll clean it up and paint it in the future. Prototype. And I found out a few things that I did wrong. See how I can turn that down that way. Some people like shooting like that, but that's kind of uncomfortable for me. I can't control the camera. I can't turn it on, can't turn it off. But uh when I'm shooting down low see I'm looking at the mirror not at my screen there we go I can flip it back up now you see my fingers 
my hand where my hand can reach the handlebar it shows where I got I can reach the power bar right there the record and I can reach all the info everything all, all my thing to access and then on the right hand I can just touch my flash and power it up touch it make it come up there we go if I want to come up manually everything is within reach on my DSLR so if you didn't buy a really expensive DSLR that's got a flip screen on it this is the way where you can video download or waist high like I do a lot of my other videos and I can see the screen I'm sure that <coughs> screen there could be a monitor as well but not gonna do that I'm showing my little back cave and all these computers I got on here burning power I need to turn them off Okay, in my little nook, iPad. Okay, here I am just taking it apart here for just a second, taking the camera off. I'm gonna get a see, this is just a prototype. I'm gonna have a boat here that I can do by hand, but I didn't want my camera to fall, so I tightened that up pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to take the lens off too, so I wouldn't hurt that lens when I'm. Tighten it down. Now I'm showing you the mirror. That's on the thing. I can see how it's bent where I heated it. And don't do like I done. Heat the thing. And that's why all that back of that thing all messed up. Because I had too much heat on the that. I should have heated it from the front. And on my T here, I have where I drill at. Do the center with that quarter 20 drill. And put that bolt where it's got threads in it. That's why that bolt is not just falling out. That's it. I'm trying to show you a little better angle of it. And I leave that loose but tight as well. Not too loose but loose enough where I can change the directions of that. Notice I'm I'm showing you again right here where we, I taped it up. Taped it on both sides, put the uh padding in there so that it'd be comfortable. And one side of my pipe is longer than the other. But you have to measure your camera. See that that's longer on this side but shorter on the other side. I did that purposely for comfort and reachability of the camera and uh, measures your camera there see where my fingers so I can touch the controls you may have to play with that just a little bit I'm showing how you should make it longer there Leave that loose is what I'm saying. Leave that loose so it'll move and rotate. Then you can get different directions of up. You can turn it up. In the future, I'm going to drill holes here. And then take a screwdriver and put a screw in there and hold that solid so it won't slide out accidentally or, or whatever. Just the prototype showed me some things that I need to do. And I have two holes, one in both direction I'll drill a hole down here in that position and I'll drill a hole up here in this position and then put the screws in it notice I got the tape around that to stabilize it I'll probably screw that down later on to clean that up this is what I call the back cave where I'll be here Missing. 
and this is a shot with me with the camera lower it's the actual camera shot here I'm shooting that hole in it it's the first time I use it so I'm going to have to practice with it a little bit to get it that's David now there we go getting a little better shooting ready now as you can see my original video that shot the first part of this video that's Sony now back to the Sony this thing worked better than I expected it came out actually pretty good it was more comfortable very comfortable I can't wait to take it out and shoot some scenery with with it to see well how that's how that's going to come out see how you can see the screen in the back here it's the same way if I was looking down in the bottom of you it would be reflected but the mirror don't even block the screen when I'm holding it up though so I need a way where I can take that mirror on and off real quick so it won't be in the way and I can use the eyepiece that would be the only drawback but I guess if I got it on this system here I'm not going to be IP shooting because I don't need to with a big mirror sitting there. Like I say, this is I found this to be more comfortable than any. Don't really like this position, but it can.